in our young leaders, we look for uh, the first, I think, is uh, uh, passion and energy. Uh, you know, Google tends to be a very fast paced uh, environment. Uh, so we like uh, young leaders who are energetic, who want to get things done, uh, who want to move quickly. I think the second is we, uh, we are a very big idea centric place. Uh, we like young leaders who uh, can think big, who can come up with new, uh, big, innovative ideas, and who also have the risk appetite to, to pursue those uh, ideas. So I think we look, for, we look for that. The third thing we look for is uh, very collaborative uh, leaders. You know, uh, Google is a, is a place that is extraordinarily collaborative. So being able to work with different teams, with different types of uh, people, with different styles, I think that's, that's very, very important to us. And we also, we also look for leaders who are, on the one hand, very aspirational, very driven, very competitive, but on the other hand, um, uh, self-critical, right? So being self-critical is a very, very important uh, leadership trait uh, at, at Google. And then finally, we look for leaders who are just fun because you know, we, we, we tend to be sort of an environment that, uh, that uh, likes to have a lot of fun and, and uh, uh, being googly is, is, is something that we look for. Once they come into Google, you know, the way we groom uh, our leaders is really uh, you know, through, through rotation, right? You know, we believe that the best way to actually train a young leader to handle different situations, different uh, complexities, different types of challenges is to actually put them in very different types of roles. It's very normal for a young leader to change roles every two or three years. And then it's also very normal for them to see, go from one function to a different function, right? So go from marketing to sales, from sales to finance. And that way they're getting very different sets of perspectives. So that's one thing we do. Second thing we, we encourage at every level of leadership for our, for our, for our young leaders particularly to take a lot of risk, to think big, uh, to embark on initiatives that truly can change the company if not change the world. And, and, and those leaders who are able to really step up, take those risks, think big, uh, are the ones that tend to uh, be more successful at Google. So, so really a lot of it is around uh, experience that they gain in the role. And what we try to do is we really push our young leaders to rotate a lot, try different things, to think big, and so on and so forth. I think I've had uh, many, many defining moments. Uh, and I think most, it's interesting going back to one of your questions, I think most of what I've learned, I've learned from my mentors, right, who have been much more senior colleagues, whether it's at McKinsey, when I was working with some of the senior partners who are just absolutely fantastic, where every day I'd be awed at, uh, you know, how they did what they did. And I learned a lot from what they did or whether it was in my various operating roles. Uh, you, you know, so I think a lot of my defining moments really have been around learnings that I've got from uh, more senior colleagues. And my, I'd say, uh, but. Uh, in addition to that, I've learned a lot from my failures. You know, I think there are two schools of thought. One school of thought that says, you know, you learn the most from when you fail. The other school of thought that says, you know, you learn the most when you succeed. Well, I prescribe to the first school of thought, which says you learn the most when you, uh, when you fail. Uh, you know, an interesting example would be at McKinsey, I was uh, co-leading the internet practice uh, for the Midwest in the U.S. And we were having an absolutely amazing run. Uh, up through March of 2000, and then in March of 2000, the internet basically collapsed, and and uh, you know I was the head of a practice that basically had you know very little to do, and I think what that taught me is that um, you know everything that goes up must come down, uh, and uh, and it's always very important to think about not just what's going well, but to be very thoughtful about what could not go right, and therefore what would you do. Uh, if things didn't go well. So that, that I'd say has probably been one of my most defining moments as a young leader. If you look at Indian business over the next decade or two decades, uh, it's going to be really defined by three or four uh, major trends. The first is globalization. The second is the impact of the digital economy uh, on, industry, on businesses across industries. The third is really a much faster pace, uh, you know, much, much, much more agile sort of environments where there's going to be a lot more change, a lot more uncertainty. And the fourth is really uh, tied to global, a multicultural uh, workplace, right, because these companies will be global. And if you look at young leaders, uh, they are extraordinarily well positioned because thanks to, I think, uh, the media exposure that they have, thanks to, I think, all the uh, experiences that they've gained, uh, they tend to be, have, they tend to have the ability to become much more global. Uh, they are uh, definitely very digitally savvy and therefore understand, I think, the impact of technology and what technology can do to business. Uh, and then finally, they, uh, they've grown up uh, in environments that have seen lots of change, that have been very dynamic, that have had uh, many uncertainties. I really do believe that the younger generation, young leaders today, uh, have uh, very, very good perspectives and set of experiences that make them uh, prepared for the future. I would encourage uh, uh, all our young leaders in India and around the world 
to, to, to think big, be bold, uh, and pursue our passions because I think, uh, you know, a professional career is somewhere between 30 or 40. Maybe in your lifetime you might go for 50 years, but 50 years is a very, very short period of time. And I think it's important to make every moment count. So think, do the things you're very passionate about, do them with enormous amounts of passion and, and think very big because, you know, the world has always been changed by great leaders. And I think it's a great opportunity, especially in a country like India, to have massive impact. The Young Leaders Program from ET is absolutely fantastic because, you know, we need to identify and recognize and reward uh, the young leaders of India who are going to take our country to where it needs to go. And I think it's an absolutely fantastic program and I'm honored, uh, honored to be uh, on the panel.